Okay, this podcast is going to go over some basic uh, file copying, moving, renaming, directory creation topics that students tend to have trouble with. Uh, so we're going to go over those things kind of quickly. So you're probably used to navigating a file system like this using a GUI. If you see a file you want to edit, you uh, double click on it. It opens in some tool. You use that tool to edit it, right? And then you save it and close it. If you want to rename it, you know, maybe you right click and go down to change name or something, uh, wherever that might be, to change the name of the file. Or if you just click in the little GUI that lets you change the name. If you want to delete it, you right click and delete it. Well, at the command line environment, we don't have a lovely little uh, GUI tool like this. So we have to know some commands to create directories and, and copy files and that kind of stuff. So uh, we're going to go over those things. Um, first off, I'm going to tell you about the three main commands we're going to talk about in this module. In this podcast, we're going to talk about the copy command, which is CP, the move command, which is MV, and the remove command, which is RM. So the copy command, you type copy, source file, source file, and then destination file. So that's pretty much the syntax of the copy command. When you run copy, the original file stays in the original location and a new copy is put in the new location. Move, on the other hand, uh, takes the file from the original location and puts it in the new location. So you only have one uh, copy of the file if you use move and it's no longer in the old uh, place. It's now only in the new place. And then remove, and then the remove can command will remove the files you specify at the command line. So remove will delete the files. Uh, one other Two other commands we're going to talk about, make deer and remove deer. Um, we'll go ahead and use make deer now. Use it to make a directory. Uh, put the name of the directory. Uh, your life will be much simpler if you stick to mostly lowercase uh, letters. And uh, please do not try to put spaces in things because it messes uh, ev almost everything up. You have to treat spaces specially. So you don't do that. If you need a space, put an underscore or a dash, if you like dashes. Almost everybody uses underscores for spaces. So we're going to make a directory called module one. If I use ls, I'll see I have a module one directory. And then we're going to use this, well, we'll stay in the module, we'll stay. No, we're going to cd in the module one directory. Module one. I just hit the tab key, tab, uh, auto complete your commands. If there's only one thing for you to put, uh, one, one directory, it'll, it'll complete that for me. Uh, so now we're in the module one directory. Well, we'll use ls to verify it's empty. We'll type pwd to see our current directory because that's uh, extra practice, which is awesome. So I've created some files in home, exercises, module one. I've created a file called file one in that location. So we're going to copy that file and we want to copy it to the current directory. And there's a special character that means current directory called a dot. So this command will copy that file to my current directory. If I do ls, you see I now have file one, right? So that is uh, basically the easiest copy you, you will ever do. You'll copy the file, keep the name the same. All right, say you wanted to change the name of the file, then you could put in file one copy, right? Or maybe you're making a backup of the file, call it file one dot back. You know, whatever, that didn't say back. But we're going to go with file one copy, right? So now I'm copying file one, and I'm also changing the name while I copy it. So now I have file one and file one copy. Um, another thing we can do is we can make a new directory called files. And if I run this same command again, but instead of specifying file one dash copy, I specify files. The copy command is smart enough to recognize that files is a directory. And then it puts a copy of the file in the files directory. So this last second argument, if it's a directory, it will copy the file into that directory. If it's uh, not a directory, it will copy uh, the file to that location with that name. So um, an interesting thing to note um, file copy will overwrite files. So if we want to try this, this, uh, command again, it copied the file. Let's copy a different file. I don't have a different file. 
I'm gonna make a different file. I'm gonna create a file to locally. And now if I copy file two over file one copy, it copied file two over file one copy. Remember file one was a 16 byte file. Now I've copied over file two. So it's possible for you to uh, mess things up uh, by copying things into the wrong place in the wrong way. So be very uh, careful about how you, you are copying things. If you put something that you don't mean to put, then you could overwrite stuff. Uh, but the main thing to remember is if it's a directory, it'll get copied into that directory. If it is a um, not a directory, it will change the name, and the dot means current directory. So that was copy. Move, pretty much all the stuff I just said about copy is true for move, uh, except you know now uh, move will get rid of the original file. So if I move file two to file three, Now I have no file two, I do have a file three. So move, move really just changes the name, changes the name. And then uh, remove uh, gets rid of files. So if I remove file two, well, I changed file two to file three, so nothing happened. If I remove file two, file three, it uh, gets rid of it. I like to keep the uh, podcast rolling at the top of the screen. So when I get to the bottom, I hit clear and go back up to the top. So you see now file two is gone. So that is move. Uh, same thing, you can move directories, files, files, to. Now we have a directory called files to. Say I wanted to have a copy of that directory back called files, files to, files. Oh, it says the omitting directory. So copy doesn't like to copy directories with the default settings. So if you want to copy a directory, you need to tell it dash R, which means recursively. So now I have a directory called files and files2. So that was uh, moving and copying directories. And then another thing I want to talk about is uh, removing directories. So I have two directories on here. I told you the remove command. Uh, can be removed, used to remove files. Can it be removed, used to remove directories? I'm going to try to remove the directory called files. And it says, cannot remove files, files is a directory. So uh, the remove dir command is a command that can be used to remove directories. So we'll try this command to remove the directory. And it won't work because the directory is not empty. So I've never, I just thought of something I've never tried before. Is there a dash F on? Yeah, all right. So if we want to remove the files directory using remove dir, first we need to delete all the files in, in the uh, files directory. So we'll remove file slash star. And now we can use remove dir to delete the files directory. So remove dir doesn't like to delete directories that are not empty. Well, how about, is that the only way to delete directories? No, we can also use remove to delete directories, which already did this and it said it's a directory. But we have to tell it a special switch, dash r means recursive. Uh, so that'll delete the directory and everything under it. So that was how we were able to get rid of that. So uh, that's some basic um, things you should know about uh, copying files, or moving files, or renaming files, uh, deleting files, and, and working with directories under uh, the command line environment.